So this is how you add a MIDI keyboard in FL Studio 20. You're gonna first go to Options, hit MIDI Settings, Options MIDI Settings, select your MIDI keyboard. Also, obviously, make sure that your MIDI keyboard is plugged in. And if you don't see it appear here, try maybe a different USB port on your computer. So make sure it's plugged in. Uh, select, select your keyboard, so mine is the Impact GX61. It's probably gonna be the first one there. Hit Enable. And then of these, I'll put both of these at none, unless you really want to do this. But um, I've, this, this for me makes recording very difficult and I like to just adjust the velocity in FL Studio. I think that's uh, better, but uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. And that's, it should work from there. If you hit it, it should, should be playing. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's linked or it's playing at 808 right now, but that was the sound right there. Um, as far as keyboards go, if you're wondering which one to get, uh, I, I have the Nectar Impact GX61. So, uh, in, um, that's, it's a really good keyboard. I've had no issues with it. I like the ability of a keyboard to transpose as in like some, if you install it and it doesn't like route to the correct key, like note, you can hit, you can use the transpose to route the keyboard correctly. So this keyboard right here is, is more so universal, which is why I really like it. This is it right here. Um, you've probably seen this in some other videos if you've seen some other videos. Now this is a full keyboard. You don't necessarily need one with this many keys. Um, I would at least get 40 or so, so, so that both hands can easily fit on there and you can play like this. And then you can always adjust the octaves. Most of them have an octave adjustment. I've used a smaller one with the octave adjustment that I liked, I liked a lot as well. So you don't, you don't have to get a keyboard this big. Uh, as far as getting one with a drum pad, the only reason I would suggest that is because, is so you, if you want to use a drum stick or if you just really like to hit the pad, but you can make drum patterns a lot of ways. Uh, I really just use, I mostly just use the channel rack, but um, you can also just hit the keys and uh, it'll manually record the uh, drum hits. But um, I'm not a, I was never a drummer. I was more of a pianist. So maybe drummers can chime in on that one, but no, I don't really have a drum pad. Uh, I might get one when I get a new computer, but I'm not sure about that. But anyways, that's how you install a MIDI keyboard in FO Studio 20. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Peace out.